Sheriff Deputy yanks a cab driver out of his car. A federal judge dismissed the lawsuit. And now, four years later, in a two-to-one decision, a federal appellate court rules that the deputy used excessive force. 13 Action News reporter Alexis Means on the story. She's live with the Action News follow-up tonight. Alexis. Lee, I talked to the attorney today. The attorney for this cab driver hopes this decision will set an example that this type of behavior will not be tolerated. I thought it was egregious conduct. It's the first time we are seeing the face of a taxi cab driver arrested by an off-duty Lucas County Sheriff deputy for parking in a no-loading zone at the Walmart on Central Avenue. This week, the 6th District Court of Appeals overturned a dismissal of the case. They found that there was no active resistance, that all five uses of force by the deputy uh, was excessive and violated um, Mr. Salim's rights. Do you have a driver's license, sir? I do, but he come here to ask you have a driver's license, why sir? you need my driver's license. In 2020, cab driver Lutfi Salim sued Deputy Jeffrey Bertzloff for excessive use of force in violation of rights. The cab driver was parked in a fire zone at Walmart. A Walmart employee asked him to move the car. Words were exchanged and the employee reported it to the off-duty sheriff deputy who was working for Walmart. The driver tried to explain what happened, but Deputy Bertzloff cuts him off. Can you produce your driver's license, sir? I, I will, but you need to send okay. me the reason. Go ahead and step out of the car. 30 one seconds into the video, the sheriff deputy appears agitated and opens the cab driver's door. He pulls his taser and sparks it. The cab driver repeatedly asked, What did I do wrong? Okay, what did I do What did I do Stop resisting! I'm not resisting. Turn around! Okay, hold on. Hold on. The deputy used a taser on the driver and took him to jail. Salim filed a complaint. The deputy was given a written reprimand for violating the use of force policy. The decision was made by Internal Affairs. During a previous interview, the sheriff told me, I just thought it was bad. It was a bad portrayal of uh, response by a police officer, or in this case, a deputy sheriff. And now it appears two judges in the higher court agree. They realized that, you know, being stopped in a no loading zone is not a serious offense, that he was not a risk to the officer's safety and that he wasn't trying to flee from any type of scene and that um, the reaction of the officer was unreasonable. So what happens next? The attorneys for the defense can file an appeal to the Supreme Court. I reached out to county leaders and they declined to comment. Lee?